The South African National Editors Forum's uh, urgent application against Black First, Land First will be heard today. Sanef wants the South Gauteng High Court to interdict BLF and its founder, Andile Mkhitama, from harassing, intimidating and threatening journalists. Last Thursday, the group protested outside the home of Tiso Black Star editor-at-large, Peter Bruce. It then issued a statement in which it listed several targeted journalists. BLF accuses reporters of protecting white monopoly capital. South Africans, we need to come together because this is an attack on our constitution. Media freedom is guaranteed in our constitution. We do what we do because it is in the public interest. And it is important that South Africans also see uh, these threats, these harassments, and all of that to see it as part of an attack on our democracy. We always argue that, you know, media freedom is not for journalists, but it is for South Africa. We see media freedom as an integral part of strengthening South Africa's democracy. Journalists go out to do their work because they're interested in actually uh, putting the public first. Our reporter Kaya Claire Kumalo is at the South Gauteng High Court and joins us now live. Kaya, of course, uh, a very important day, some would argue, for a SANEF in trying to pr protect journalists. Well, a very good morning to you, Shahan. Certainly, it's quite a very important day. And also, given the very importance of media freedom in South Africa, in terms of the country's ranking, uh, it's still relatively, you know, rates quite uh, significantly well in terms of the protection of journalists. And today, once again, it's that moment of trying to reclaim that moment with the South African National Editors Forum taking their BLF to this very court here to try and defend the very sacred space of uh, the media to be able to practice its craft without any hindrance or anything uh, for that matter that may block it, given the fact that for some time we've seen journalists sub subjected to quite a series of attacks from BLF and its leader, Andilem Gautama. But of course, he has also shown an indication that he's ready for this battle. But Shahan, just to get more details about this uh, day itself, I'm joined here by the Deputy National Chair of uh, SANF, the National Editors Forum, Katie Katopodis. Katie, thank you so much indeed for joining us here on ENCA. Just take us to the very importance of this case itself. For Sanif, this is very important because it's got to do with media freedom. For us, that is the huge issue here. It's the rights of the media to report freely and obviously fairly because I think as a media, we also have a responsibility to get things right and to be sure that we do things properly. But at the same time, we can never be hindered in the work that we do. We can't be silenced with threats and with intimidation. And that is what Sanif is saying today. We're standing up very loudly to say that journalists can't be silenced and that we need to be able to do our work. You very rightly said that South Africa... Um, in the past 23 years has a proud history of media freedom and we really need to support that in any which way possible. Uh, very much so, Katie, and obviously quite a number of journalists are, are wearing black colour. Maybe just take us through to the significance of this. It was just about a show of solidarity, actually. It was just about a show of support um, for journalists nationally. For us, this is not just about a select group of journalists. This is not how we see it. We see it rather broadly as all members of our media fraternity in South Africa being affected by this because ultimately it's about that broad umbrella that we call media freedom that we're so proud to work under for that matter. So this is what the thinking was. It was just about solidarity and all members of the media, in fact, civil society, anybody who thinks that media freedom is an important issue because yes while it's about journalists it's not only about journalists it's about South Africa. Certainly Katie maybe just before we let you go obviously the courts will decide now the ball is just within the courts hands to just decide on this very crucial matter your expectation just briefly. Well, you know, we're asking for an urgent interdict, but ultimately we leave it in the very good hands of the court and uh, we will respect this process completely. 
Very much so, Shahan. So there you have it. Uh, that was stand of uh, Deputy National Chairperson Katie Katipodis stating quite categorically that the media has a very significant job to do and obviously it should be given more uh, freedom to really ply its trade, as it were, and not in any way be obstructed, not least by the BLF. Back to you in studio. Akaya, before you go, in the interest of reporting fairly on this story, what is BLF saying about why it thinks it has the right to actually protest outside the homes of journalists? Well, for some time, Shahan, the very rationale that they've been putting forward is to say, look, uh, they want uh, consistency in terms of reporting. And also they're talking about this whole buzzword of white monopoly capital. They are saying these are some of the journalists who are at the forefront in exposing um, uh, the whole issue regarding this. But of course, I mean, uh, the, the very uh, side of the argument that has been coming across is saying, look, this is just a mere protection for the Gupta family. These are the journalists who have been so vociferous in expressing themselves and writing quite extensively in as far as uh, the controversy Special families, uh, families concerned. Right. But of course, Shahan, what I can also point out to you is that we're expecting them to uh, protest uh, outside here in court. All right, thanks so much for that. Appreciate it. Our reporter, Kaya Kamala, outside the uh, South Gauteng High Court.